are on the beach here at the Hermitage. And Hermitage began as an artist community with a project by the Sarasota County Arts Council to restore these buildings. And we saw our first artist here in 2003 and we started operating full-time as an artist community in 2005 and have now 10 years behind us of bringing artists from all over the world here. It's difficult to look out on all this wonder and glory and not feel moved. I've spent the last three and a half weeks here, every morning, in my picture book window, displaying the latest marvels of the Gulf Coast. The STAR program was an interesting development because it was really, it's our hurricane project. We didn't have a way of dealing with our artists when hurricanes came through or if we had to evacuate the island, which is what we actually had to do for Charlie. So it took a couple of years before we had artists back at this time of year. And then we came up with an idea to offer residencies to Florida public school teachers of the arts in visual art, theater, music, and creative writing. And so it allowed us to give a four-week residency to these teachers to be artists again and to feed the artistic side of their nature that doesn't often get fed very well during the school year. I've been working as a drama teacher for five years. The school that I work for is an amazing school with really talented children but I had found that the work that had brought me to it, the, the theater and the storytelling, that I was no longer doing it. And so uh, the opportunity that the Hermitage provided in um, getting back to the craft um, so that I could be rejuvenated and then have something fresh to bring to the students was perfect. I was hoping to get time to myself time to my writing, time to listen to nature. I often tell my students to do that when we go back to the woods and I'm too busy listening to them then. And so here I was able to listen for myself. I don't have a place like this in my house, so this was huge for me. I mean, my studio is basically this and then there's the living room and the couch is right behind me and my family which is great, but this was just something special. I've never had an opportunity like really in my life, even in school, it wasn't like this. Nobody was telling me, you gotta get up and come in here and work. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. I mean, I just would wake up every morning, get a cup of coffee. I was usually here by eight at the latest and just do what I wanted to do. I mean, it's just been, uh, and it's been an eye-opening experience. I mean, I would love to continue on with it. It's being around other artistic people that are very, we're different, but we're also similar in that we are teachers, but we're artists first, and we care deeply about the arts and sharing it with the world and sharing it with our students and inspiring people. So I've learned so much from them. They all have their different gifts, and I've just been picking their brains and bouncing ideas off of them, and I even had the poet look over some of my lyrics, and our writer, Narissa, she's writing about believing in your dreams, and it was a perfect thing for me when she encouraged me to you know believe in your dreams just do it and don't think so small think big well here's the magic of the hermitage even though I could say take the summer and lock myself in a room for a month it's still not the place that's here at home I'm still immersed in my daily life here it's an opportunity to separate myself to immerse myself in beauty. And when you're immersed in beauty and you're immersed in nature and you're in solitude, you really have an opportunity to give yourself space. The living spirit of the Hermitage and the artists here who accepted me gave me the safe space to work things out so that I could become the most powerful messenger possible. I hope that people see that the arts supporting the arts, music, theater, writing, poetry, visual art, digital art, any of the arts is a viable and important aspect to society, that it's not just an elective, it's not just a hobby, it's not just a fun little thing for people to amuse themselves with. It really enhances people's lives and that it makes the world a better place because I believe that through any type of art, the purpose of it is human connection, that 
I as a musician am saying to other souls on this planet, this is what I'm feeling or seeing. Is anybody else seeing or feeling this too? And we're trying to, to connect, we're trying to validate each other, we're also trying to inspire and we're trying to make some kind of emotional gang plank into people's lives and feel like we're not alone. It was interesting the way we would come together. Some nights we would all ha uh, have dinner together, some mornings we would share breakfast, and in those times we shared who we were, what we did, and we have a musician, a visual artist, and another writer, but we all approach things differently, and it was great to be able to share those conversations, to bounce off each other ideas, not just as artists, but also as teachers. I know I've grown through here, I know, I know I've, I've learned some things, and one, especially with the people I've been with, the other teachers, I mean, they've told me so many stories, and you know, one of them's done TED Talks, so just some of the things that we've talked about there, just, it's definitely going to come back in the classroom. All of the arts are about connections, connections to place, to past, to person, and to future, and who you are will determine what you take away from the event. A child gathers shells along the water's edge. The imperfect nestle with the perfect, but he collects only the fragments. Does he not see the perfection of the complete? Does he not see the vibrant colors not yet washed away by the sun?